Yes, I hope you are good, okay? Allow me to say this and please do not drag me. I'm just trying. Messaniere, welcome on my YouTube channel. My name is Muiselo Vilakazi. Yo, Fertro Bare Bronfir Fermaknis. Vandaag praat ons van episode 11 van The Real Housewives van Pretoria. Listen, Afrikaans is not one of those languages that you can speak on an empty stomach. You need some stamina. Listen, first of all, I want you to not take the show too serious or take it to heart. Listen, as much as this is a reality show, but mm, 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 it, many things are telling you that the show is scripted. Oh, the Renske scene was so emotional. So she basically fell off from a horse. And that was so hard to watch, especially when Rona became very emotional. You could see in the way she was running and that she really adores and loves um, Renske. She has been a major part of her life. Also, this scene also allowed us to see another side of Mel, a side that is caring. And I think this was wonderful to watch. Now, wait a minute. She falls off from the horse and I'm expecting them to rush her to the hospital just for medical, you know, assessment, nyana there. And then boom, Renske is drinking Coca-Cola there. They are just laughing and I'm like, how? Oh, oh, I'm defeated now. I'm glad that in this episode, Marie is back and she was preaching in her church. And honestly, I love the message they were sharing. She was sharing a message about restoration and how much God can change your scars into gold. Now, I like the moment I did when they were breaking uh, their plates. Now, let me break back. I'm joking. I'm not that rich, okay? Let's talk about Kiki's event. The ladies were so beautiful. They were looking beautiful and honestly this sort of gives you a glimpse of what to expect in terms of the fashion in the reunion. I cannot wait for the reunion to see these ladies and I'm sure they're gonna show up and show off. Wait a minute, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. But for sex toys, Kiki was gonna announce like a major achievement or whatsoever. Guys, uh, uh, they should have just wore their sneakers and jeans, okay? Because wow, all looking good for for, for sex toys, yeah. He informs the ladies that because you guys are so dramatic and the drama seems never to end, now I've decided that I'm not gonna move to Pretoria. Furthermore, I am excluding myself, excusing myself from our friend group. Like, girl, stop lying to us. It's not 11 now, you've been searching for a house. You are not gonna stay anyway. Or maybe, this is what I think transpired. Hey Kiki, my sweetheart, I hope you're good. This is Rian, yeah, Rian. Yeah, from Chakaranda. Listen, um, I'm doing a new show called The Real Housewives Fun Pretoria. Do you want to be a part? And honestly, I think you'd be a good addition to the show. Um, you don't have to be... Nah, nah, relax. You don't have to be based in Pretoria. We can say maybe you are trying to move. Uh, you're searching for a place here in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to, 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 to really move. Um, yeah, now nah, I know you have a, a, you know, a young audience on your TikTok. And I think that'll be good for the show. So are you in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No, oh, you're gonna talk to Malcolm. Mm. Yeah, you can move. Move with Tembi, move with your family for, you know, for a short while while we are shooting uh, this series. Also think the show was probably becoming very toxic behind the scenes. And the producers thought, you know what? We need intervention. Hey, Kiki, I hope you could. Yo, in Zanzibar, it was bad. It was really, really, really bad. And um, I, 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 I want you to work with me on something. I want you to... Um, in your event to threaten the ladies and say you are not going to move to Pretoria and also you are leaving the friends group so that maybe they change because right now they're becoming very toxic and maybe this will sort of like awaken them um, and maybe they will probably reunite because this beef uh, seems to be not ending <sighs> it's a lot it's a, it's a lot yeah yeah please help me I well, it's all has been said and done, and I agree with Mel. There's a lot that we can learn from the housewives of Pretoria. That you know, what, as much as they can disagree, argue, but honestly, they've never uh, been physical. And I've said this last week, and I think a lot of housewives franchises can learn from this. Actually, I'm the only one, but I feel like that scene with the sex toys was sort of pointless because there's nothing, honestly, that I can take away from that scene. Not because of the sex toys, but because there was just nothing. Maybe I'm weird. The fact that my girl Marie and others who are very conservative, they really challenge themselves 
um, in order to make Kiki happy. Let us talk about Rona's birthday party. So Mel was invited and she decides that, you know what, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go, but I think I will need an advice from Jeremiah. It's always great to see Jeremiah on the show. The issue is that Jeremiah has only one side. I wish probably he has been part of these trips and he has seen um, his friend who is Mel. And because I believe that he just took what he heard from Mel and he does not know what that Mel has not been very good to the ladies as much as now she's acting like a victim, but she started the fire. Honestly, I do not think Mel, I think Mel didn't want to go to uh, Rona's party because she, she simply didn't want to go, not because she has beef uh, with Rona, but the producers are trying to convince us. Trying so hard to make Mel a villain, not that she's not, but you can see that they are really here trying so hard. Rona's party. Everyone was looking beautiful, everyone honored the theme. Besides, uh, Kiki, well understand, and most of her clothes that probably matches the theme are in Pumalanga, not in Pretoria. Now my concern with the ladies is that I understand that Mel did not show up at Verona. However, now there was a time where everyone was speaking about Mel. Mel's absence, Mel, Mel this Mel that I'm like, wait a minute guys, you have a life. You're here to celebrate Rona, Rona, and why are you guys busy talking about someone who is not there? Belated birthday to Rona. And what do you think about everything that transpired in episode 11 of The Real Housewives? Fun Pretoria. I love you so much and stay blessed. Thank you.